his dead body. Yeah. That's it, I'm leaving. I, 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 I'm just leaving. I instantly left the server because the game just started and I instantly died. <laughs> Rip. Rip skins. You want some Robux? Sure. Uh, how much do you have? 1500. BS. Did you just inspect all my crap again? No, because remember I used to be a collector. So I, I recently sold my Egyptians. I recently sold my Egyptians. Um, what's it called? Let me go in my trade so I can look at my recents. Oh, Somewhere. he left. He freaking left. Yep. Okay, DC for idle. Good job, Matt. So you get your screw. You screw. Oh my god. The glitch is strong today, though. Like, for real. But I've been watching, um, I was on G Teen's, uh, YouTube, like, a little bit ago. Watching his, like, his early videos. Mm -hmm. And, like, Dude, I don't know. It's like, like, have you seen this Q and A? Oh wait, wait. I'm trying to look. Perch. Wait, let me, let me look. Here, let me show you my sales. Let me go on. Cause like I've sold a whole bunch of limited stuff. Like, and this is not even like inspected. I'm not even sure what my limiteds are at all. You probably haven't even bought any. It's because I used to be into it. No, I actually, one of my limiteds actually went up to like 50k a couple of days ago. I know, I got mad because like, I used to, um, I had this one hat that's actually, called- Actually, let me look at that real quick. I had this one hat that's called, uh, it's called, it's called the, uh, it was called the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie, and I sold, I traded it for- Oh, uh, it's 12k I had now. The Valkyrie, I had 2k. No, I had two of them, and they were each 2k. I sold, I traded them so it was like 2.2k for each. And then I ended up getting the, what's called the totally legitimate business hat for 4.5k. And then I sold, and I traded it for the timeless top hat. And I sold that for fi um, 500 and. 70 5750 robux but then the valk right now costs 12,000 and the top top hat costs 15,000 I remember that I remember that uh, legitimate, legitimate business hat back then that's old as hell yeah I had that and I like I would I was just that guy I had that it too. Like, <laughs> back then it was only like 4,000 I was like 20,000 I'm talking when it first came out in 2009 like everybody had it like, I have at least three accounts that probably have it right now. <laughs> but you lost it? Okay, nobody just- how much- Because I know it started off with like a thousand. There's no way you had it like on three accounts. No, I'm talking about 2009 when they came out a gift for free. It was a gift. Yeah, you wanna bet? <laughs> if I can find how? it. Let me- Why? Just why is it a gift? I forgot what it was a gift. Because back, back in 2009, dude, it wasn't that great. Oh, back- Yeah, back in 2009. Wasn't it like 2000? 2006 when it first came out i've heard that somebody made an account and then like it was so like it was one of their first people so like the staff and moderators actually had to get on when they got a notification just so they could play the game with the kid yeah they yeah they, yeah, they did they did that i remember, I remember hearing about that yeah like when some whenever someone would join uh, the ministers would join in and with them like make sure they they make sure they kept playing like yeah. like, like, like like tell your friends <laughs> <laughs> I want you, the whole Matt Sandusky guy was just like, yeah, I want you to blend in, follow in the ranks, and just act as if you're one of them. Just <laughs> make a fake Insta, make a fake Facebook account, because back then, that, that was it. <laughs> Once you got that Facebook account, you're legit. <laughs> wait, wait, were you around when they, when they first put up the Roblox test site? Mm-mm. Dude, they they let you have like I think a million Robux or something like that. It was back in like 2010, and like you can make a new account and like you had like so much Robux to spend it on, but it, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't permanently. It was just a test site. That dude, dude it was no, so like, cool. My friend, 
it was like when 2006 came, we were seven, so we're in middle, we're in elementary school. He he wanted me to play, I never did. And then um, we hung out for a while. This is when my friend came in kindergarten. We talked for a while, and then like fifth grade came, and he's still playing it. And I'm like, hey, dude, he's just like, yeah, you should join. I'm in a clan. We have we do like clan wars. I'm in a high rank. I got him to explain. He made it sound like I have to like have a job and then like prove to the community that I'm loyal to be part of the Senate, to work up my ranks, to be part of Congress, and then be a president, and then be a CEO, and have my own financial statements, and start putting out my my growth <laughs> and my network, and slowly increase as my income raises, and strategically buy stuff with, within the stocks as, as prices rise, and then sell them for profit. Oh, it's just like... Uh, is there racing games? <laughs> Terrific. But then later on, like last time I talked to him, it was like ninth. No, it was like sixth grade or seventh grade. And when he came over, I was playing Apocalypse Rising, and then he was just like, "Here, let me show you this real cool game." And then he made me play this like zombie apocalypse game where there's no shooting, no killing, nothing. It's just houses, and you pull up your own clothes and you just role play. <clears throat> Medieval roleplay, <laughs> evil, <laughs> evil vampire roleplay, dude. That actually was the crap back then. Like when I was a, like when I was like a little tryhard emo kid, like a sixth grade. I used to hop on emo, like freaking vampire roleplay or whatever. She was okay. Ooh. No, you, you, you know what my emo phase was? Cause like Roblox has always been there. So you know what my emo phase was? What? Here, I need to make. I'm gonna go to my profile. Oh, <laughs> you actually have shirts and stuff or something. No, I like remember. I sold limited, so I had money. Actually, believe it or not, I was never emo. Like I listened to like rock, and that was it. Like, well, not emo. It was just like I liked darker things, but also I listened to edgy music. Like, I can't say edgy things because I listened to a day to remember, and last year I listened to, as um. I should listen to actually Alexandria, but like I make fun of people who listen to Nirvana because I'm. Cause like low key I like it, cause younger my days everybody used to listen to rock and stuff, but I used to like on the down low listen to Green Day, Nirvana, and like a whole bunch of Coldplay and some Fall Out Boy. <laughs> yeah. And and like some Kanye West a little, on the side, and but I'll down like I'll download like one Drake song and one Meek Mill song on my iPod so when my mom comes to my room, she's like, so what are you listening to? I'll just play like Drake through like start up from the bottom and and then, like it's <laughs> like oh yeah I like this song and then like leave my room and then all of a sudden all you hear is how do you think I feel with this new surround my bed? <laughs> <Did he> blast it? <laughs> no, I'll oh. just like I'll have my earbuds and laying down my bed and then she'll be like what music are you listening to? I'll like have to unplug it and plug it to the speaker that I had in my room and then like play some Drake and then she'll be like this is a good song and then she'll be like okay and then she'll leave and I'll just be like yeah yeah but like. See, the thing is, back then, like, you call it cringy music now, right? But back then, like, when, like, sixth grade and stuff like that, we, we a lot of people would actually listen to that stuff. That stuff was mainstream, like, what, like, what, Fall Out Boy, Three Doors Down, and stuff like that. Like, now no, it's, this, this now was it's what cringy, I yeah, but back then it was This was, like, fifth, fifth, fourth grade. Yeah, that's like, still not cringy, though. Because back then, it was actually, like, that was praise, that kind of music. Now, it's, now it's, like, rap. That's the thing. I, like... I've always liked my certain music, but I always like faked it. You know, like I always faked it and listened to other music, so I like kind of blended a little. Like I legit have you. I have like twelve playlists. On my Spotify, like a day to remember. Like every other thing is fake. Like I have a day to remember, and then I have Drake. I have my Childish Gambino, and then I have um whatever the whole antidote song i have jake cole and then i have something like rap caviar by spotify then i have logic and then i have edge which is like logic ty dollar sign and then i'll have something like um my chemical romance but then i'll cover it up with like my something edgy like the police <laughs> the police Even is pretty good Actually, yeah, I like the place. And then, I, like, I have Apocalypse Radio, 
but the thing is, like, it's not just the songs from Apocalypse Radio. Like, I actually expanded that because I used to always love listening to the um to it. Yeah, I mean now, like, I listen to anything honestly. Like, I don't listen to rock as much as I used to. Like, like you've seen the you've seen the songs on my phone, right? They're basically just beats and stuff like you that. You listen to like literal trap beats. Exactly. Like, like not it, not even ironically. Like, you just sit there like. Listening to trap beats as if you're about to start rapping. No, because like, in reality, you re you like you listen to trap beats on the reg as if you're gonna start rapping. But in reality, you still struggle with your social skills. Like, exactly, but like no, what I'm saying is that the trap beats I actually have on my phone, no one can really rap over. They're like really hard trap beats. Like, like the Roblox, like the Roblox, um, <laughs> the Roblox rap. But like. like like there's this band that I listen to um, on the DL f frequently. They call it Steam Power Giraffe, and like that's like the the smoother side of me, cause like I like I I have a lot of folk in me. Feelings, feelings, feelings. But like I have like a lot of folk in me. I like folk bands. Me, like they're they're really good, especially because they're steampunk, and I have a big love for steampunk. You do steampunk like I thought steampunk was just a type of like design. Like it is, but. They're, they they dress they dress up in like steampunk and stuff like that. That's that's weird. It's not actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you okay. if you look them up, then it's not really weird. You people dressed up like steampunk. I mean, they 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 still look human, but. Ever everybody looks human. I'm pretty sure nobody that is within our species looks other than other any species See, with our level of chromosomes. Like, my music taste is really weird. So you you just have to accept it. Dude, these people they dress like they're in Alice in the Wonderland. <laughs> Did you look them up? I look no, I just looked up people look like steampunk. Oh. Okay, what's the name of the band? Steam Power Giraffe. They actually have kick ass outfits. Like I actually feel like you'd like them, but I th I feel like you like hardcore stuff better, so I don't know. There's literally just three people in this game, and two of them are AFK, and just me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just flinging here on the wall. How how is this even a type of genre of clothing? I, I they just they basically dress up as robots, honestly. I mean, like they dress like they're supposed to be like chappy, and like all dressed up. But then they just like paint their face with metallic paint and paint fa face. Uh, I they, they look like, like the they're supposed to be like robots from like the fifties and stuff. That's why it's not like that advanced, obviously. Yeah, hence the name of steam powered. Yeah, but they actually have really good music. Like seriously. Oh man, Gavin, there's a there's a picture of the steampunk people of ponied. <laughs> oh god. Is it Steam Power Giraffe Ponied? <laughs> yeah. That's I need bad. To, I, I'm, I'm not even going to send it to you. See, but the John, which is like one of the best members left in like 2012. And now I like their, their music <laughs> doesn't really... Net. Their music doesn't really appeal to me anymore that much. Maybe you gotta increase your dosage and listen to heavier metal. <laughs>